Hello and welcome everybody to the first month of season eight of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cube. Yeah, CCB Cube. That's what we settled on. CCB. CCB? Did you throw an extra C in the beginning of there? No. C squared B cubed? C squared B cubed. Cute Carlin Brothers box breakers cubed. Oh, I don't hate it. <laughs> As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now, as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy, which if I remember correctly from last week, it was water that we want. We wanted water. I want to say also eyeball is pretty good. Maybe okay. we'll actually have to change the skateboards this time. Let's see! And today's randomly chosen type advantage will be... Uh, Salad again, Salad so we again. don't have so to change the changes cards whatsoever. Wow. All right, well, Leviathan is just enjoying its time in the sun. Just truly, I mean, just gaining all the extra notoriety that Leviathan normally is not given. I know, right? The what? most popular evolution by far, right? Absolutely. Ev what is your favorite evolution? Let us know down below. In the channel section down below. You want to let them know about the randomly chosen common chase cards today? I sure. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Tinka Tink, Fue Coco and Crobat. Nice, excellent pronunciation on Fue Coco. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we learned from somebody along, somewhere along the way that it's not Fui, it's Fue. Fue. Which makes sense, because like Fuego, like fuego. Like flames, yeah, you fire. Know, yeah, you get it. All right, today's first contestant is going to be Brant. Brant. If you'll recall, our current first place contender is Doe at 30 points, followed closely by Marcos at 28. So those are the numbers we are trying to beat today. We're going to see what happens. we got the Dark Tear Drop Energy right off the front. we got the top Oxel, the Lipard, the Wimpod, the Elekid, the Professor Satis Vitality, the Minior, the Crocolore, the oh, Elekid. Oh, critical hit! Oh, look at that! Boom, wow, there we go. Wow, last time too, didn't it? Boom, I believe it did. Yes, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got the Mill Tank, which will not score, and the, the Palkia. Wow, what so. a disappointing two points. I know, that's really not the, uh, it's not exactly the most thrilling version of how that can go down. Boy, um, Brant saw the critical evil. hit, thought to themselves, wow, I'm about to hit it big, and then landed the Palkia. Yeah, unfortunate. Bit it hig, more like it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Next up, we've got Alyssa, a longtime player of the game. Although last last season, only four measly old points. Just four, just four. Let's see if we can do it better for Alyssa this go round in Paradox Rift. I have good feelings. Electric the type. Electric Seedra, Magmi, Vanillite, Oracorio, Simicide will score, Norman, Orthrum, Nimble, Nimble will score. score. Oh, a critical hit again no on the way. Vanillite! Okay. Boom, and then the Iron Jugulus. So uh, six points? Six points, nothing too crazy, but two critical hits in a row. I feel like the box is telling us like, oh yeah. We're there's, just heating up, There's people. points to be had in this box. I mean, the pull rate in the last box was kind of wild. So. It was, yeah. It was like almost like verging on like OP, but in the best way. But in the best way. That's what we want for you for you guys at home. Next up from The Bachelor, Lauren B. Lauren B, the yeah. one, the only. Let's see how they're doing. Right. They've done, they've had some pretty minimal performances. Season five was their peak at 23 points. They had an 18 point pack. So let's see if we can do a little better. There we go. So we got the, the Blip Mug, right which will immediately good. score. The Fue Coco will score. Oh, you're right. The Snow Runt. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, like that Snow Runt. Yeah, I love the it. Hone, yeah, see, this is, the, this is what they like to do. The yeah. Honed Edge. Yeah. The Simi Poor, the Zeb Stricka. Zeptrika, that luxurious cape. I'm, I'm getting them. You got the it. Toxel will not score. The Gimme Goal will not score. And, and the Evelto. So just three points there for Lauren B. 
That's right. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, it's still early in the season. It it's is. early in the box. There's there's plenty still to be had. I like I like to think that you guys, as you watch the show, have uh, picked up on how good we are at spin. Yeah. It's like there's always an opportunity. Well, there's an always opportunity. an opportunity. Right. Next up, we've got Nixie Claw, who probably will pull the next best pack we've ever seen. Pro I mean, can you imagine? Maybe the best pack of the day. Best Gotta beat six points. Day. Yes. We're aiming for seven. Bam. Well. Oh, there we go. Off to good a good start. Which is probably gonna be eight at this rate. We got the type advantage, the snow run, the knackle stackle, the plussle, the masquerade. There we go, we're almost there, quarter of the, the way. The cyclo czar, the pump kaboo does nothing. Oh, oh, the oh, that's so exciting. And the Porygon Z, that's the one we were looking for last time. It is the least valuable rare card in the set. Obviously the big one's the Eveltal. We saw Big Steve pull this last time. I cannot remember for the life of me what it's worth. I know, yeah, let's see. I do believe it's a, it's a reasonably good value card. I think it's where most of Steve's points came from. Yeah. Number 205, 985, so it's gonna be 10. 10. 11, 12 times two is 24 points. 24, goodness gracious, wow. that so is amazing. Not enough to be the best pack of the season so far, but so far the best pack of the day. We were correct about that. Yes. And just between third place overall. So a great striking distance to take the lead. Yeah, no, that's that's a that's an excellent position to be yes. in and great way to compound what we've already seen as like a solid pull. So, so all of our top players so far have done it with a multiplier which is worth noting, but there are cards in the set worth more than like the, yes, the, the present yes, point value. Of values. course, the, the Dalmatian card, as I like to call it, yeah. yeah, is worth 101 points. Right, all right, next up we have Reginald Munion. Reginald Munion, Reginald Munion, a long time, no, it's your, it's your, it's your, I, okay, your yep. turn, right? Yeah, come on, for Reginald. For Reginald. Let's see what he's got, how we do uh, last go round. Oh, was competing for the last place last time at one point, but had 24 cents. Ooh, so way too have competitive, done it. Yeah. way too competitive. There Very we go, we've got the eyeball, the eyeball energy. energy. Yep. Uh, we've got the Tinket Tough, we're looking for the Tinket Tank. Uh, the Trubbish, the Crustle, will we'll score. score. The Onyx, the Tulip, the Dinozo, Chantal, the Defiance Vest will not score. The Crustle, oh, oh critical hit on the Crustle! There we go, So that, the, and then the Deoxys. So that's gonna be one, two, three times two. Six. Six points there, Six boom. Points. We're, we're, we're on critical hit of the day people already. People just like throwing around some, some you know, right. multipliers day. Very Gosh, impressive. It feels like the kind of day where maybe we get like that four times multiplier with the type advantage and the critical feels hit. Feels like it could happen. Feels like it could happen. Something's it in the air. All right, now we have uh, Below Average Gaming Dad. Yeah. This is, uh, last season they were a, a rookie. So they were uh, just coming into the game. They got 10 points on their first pack ever, so a pretty solid start as all, as packs go. Interestingly, I am also a below average gaming dad, and oh. also we were uh, each other's first friends on Wizards Unite back wow. in the day, so good good fun there. there maybe, go. maybe my first friend. Brute Bonnet. Oh, that's actually a kind of cool Brute Bonnet, the reverse hollow there. You get that extra shininess, the Oracorio and the Zation. Oh, this guy will actually score. Oh, that's a, my that's goodness. A rare. Yep. You are so, right. Yep. So three so points three there. Three points instead of two. For below average gaming dad. Well, there you go. So far, a pretty average pack on the day, honestly. So far. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. We'll throw that in the box for you. Get those in the mail. Next up, we've got Fran. Fran. Fran, a crowd favorite, Fran. This was, I, I was uh, telling my friend the other day, uh, it, well, it's actually Alice's best friend's mom's name is Fran. Oh, okay. And um, so I was like, I like to think that it, this is this is uh, Alice's best friend's mom. Oh, probably yeah. it is. Mo yeah. Most likely, most likely. Most All right, horsey. the Horsey would have nope. scored last, last week, but not week, this but week. not this week. You got the Joel Tick, the Not Two, the Remoraid, the Ambipom, the Tink a Ton, still not the right one, the Snorlax Doll, the Loudred mm -hmm. uh, will not score, the Blitzel will not score, and, and the and Iron, Iron Moth will. Oh. Oh, well, but let's see here. This, this seems like it's competitive for the last place position it, here. It certainly does. 11 cents 11 there. 11 cents. So I want to say the current last place is like 8 cents. Uh, uh, yes, I believe you are correct. Yep. So still not quite last place, but that puts quite. you in contention if you can pull it off two more times. If you put it, yeah. So you're still in a good spot. I would, I would say that was that's pretty solid. Next up, we've got Monkey Bacon. Monkey Bacon. This I want to say is another one of our father-son teams. Indeed. Love this. Yeah. Love this. Let's Dad is bacon. See. Son is monkey. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we've got for the father-son duo of Monkey Bacon. Let's get them something good on the board. Metal Energy, nothing okay. good to see there. Dottler Scores, Toxel, Liepard, Wimpod, Professor Turo, Manchow, Rika, the Slither Wing does not score, but it does have the cool art. The Cyclozar and the Volcanion, oh, so unfortunate, Just a two-point pack guys. there for us. Two-point pack there. You do get kind of the cool-looking Slither Wing, but otherwise, 
Not too much to write home about on that one, I'm afraid. That's for all monkey right. bacon. Potential energy is building. It's there. We got two more packs this season, y'all. It's gonna be great. Next up, we've got Blood Vamp. Yeah, rival of uh, Adriana, who yes. I feel, was Adriana somewhere on our list? Andriana. Andriana, and yes, I'm we sorry. Opened their pack last yes, time. okay. So this will be curious because Andriana is currently competing for more of like the last place position. I see. So, we'll so see can what, Blood Vamp pull a one pointer here? Let's see what Blood Vamp can do. All right. Blood Vamp's got like a creepy vibe. They've got Blood Vamp's their name. They have three black cats. You know. Oh man, yeah, yeah. There we go. So we got Let's the see if Teardrop we can get some Energy. Fantastic Pokemon for so them. The Flittle, the Nicket, the Knackley, the Nimble, Nimble. the Garbodor, 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 Technical Machine, the Durant, 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 oh! Durant. Wow. Look at that with critical hit. Critical hit. And then we got the the Dublade. Uh, and the Wochi Wo Wo in. Okay, two so, points. So let's see here. So one, two, three times two right. will be, be six. Six. Man. There, so Blood Vamp not going for last place. Just saying, give me the points on the fourth critical hit of the day. I know that's our that's our that was third that person literally with six was points. Durant Durant. It really right was. In I know. Yeah, that's so I, funny. Someone at the Pokemon Card Factory, I feel like, was, was like, like, I watched this YouTube like channel. Doing. I'm doing I'm doing a bit here. I'm doing yeah. it. They'll notice. They'll we noticed. It. We see you. They're like it's Pokemon. low odds that it makes it to them, but it did. But it so did. It was worth it. Whoever you are. Right. Well what, done. A, what a big win for that person. I know. Like, I can't believe it. <sighs> I thought I was just gonna throw that out in the world and no one would appreciate the joke. <laughs> <laughs> we we see we you. got we you, man. See you. Whoever you are. You know, if you want to send us some some you know free cards or something, we're down. Right. I mean, any god packs that you yeah, have. You just got a god around. pack, yeah. send it our way. The blip bug scores, the Foy Coco scares, the Haunted, the Dwebble. So off to a good start here. Slitherwing, the Yamas, the Groudon will score, as will the Zatu. So, so five scoring cards five and scoring five scoring cards. points. Man, crazy. And this is for zero for twelve. Well, I don't think I announced, but they got five points there. Off well, five different cards. Well what done, zero pack. for twelve. All right, next up, we've got Tempest Blade. Feels like a, a, a dub blade. It does, it yeah. does, yes, absolutely. Can we get some dub blade in there? Let's see, let's see what we got. Let's take the code card, we got the, the yep. Fireball Energy there, the Pumpkaboo, the Zubat, mm -hmm. the Gimme Ghoul, the Purloin, the Tatsugiri, well, the Earth, Earth and Vessel. Vessel does score. This That'll is our two-point two card for the season. Yep, so just since, since we haven't had one so far, so this is an uncommon card that is worth more than one point due to its playability, and therefore is worth two points here on our show. Uh, the Ambipom will not score. The Fue Coco, Coco will. will score, and, and the, the Thievul. Thievul. So, right. one, two, three, four points overall four uh, points for Tempest there, Blade. For temp no do blade though. No do blade. Mm -hmm. I just said it out loud. Four points? Yes, four points. Four points, amazing. All right, next up we have got longtime player of the game. It's Omega. Omega, I, be I believe was a season champion season back in- Season two champion. Season two, yeah. Yeah, right. so. Where, where our champ was 58 points right. overall. It wow. Seems, seems low now. Set? I don't even remember. Yeah. Bam, all right, Dark Teardrop Energy. So nothing crazy out of the gate there. Tinka Tough, not the Tinka Tink. Yep. Drawbush Crustle scores. Yeah. Screamtail. Professor Sada, Minior, Spinda, Feebas, and ooh, oh, the Bombardier! All right. Uh, Semi-playable card. I've seen it like floating around here. People are trying it out. And it still mm. might be just a single pointer though. Yes, it sure is. Yeah, coming yeah. in with just 58 cents overall. So nothing Either terribly way. exciting, but still we'll, a sleeveable card. We'll throw it in a sleeve for you there. The Bombardier EX, kind of a kind of a stork Pokemon. There you go. Yeah. I guess the, the bombs are the, the babies. There we go. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. All right. Next up is Annika. Uh, so yep. There we go. Let's see Let's Annika. Let's see how we're gonna do here. Da, 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 da. We're helping growing Ooh. Annika's collection here. I this love is it. how she started doing it. There we go. So we got our multiplier. Our, our multiplier with the salad energy. We got the uh, Yamask. Yep. Yeah, nice. Spinda. The Tinka Tink. -tink. Oh, there we oh, go. We wrong one. Wrong one, Ben. Oh, wrong one. There's oh, goodness tink gracious. Tinks. Double Tinka Tinks. I'm so wow. sorry. The Tandem Mouse, the Slither Ring, the Ferrothorn, the Cursed Duster, the Knackle Stack will not score. The Porygon 2 will not score. And, and the, the Chi Yu. Oh, man. no. Just two points just on the two. multiplier. God, I hate to see Gosh, that. so That's far it has a... it has really seemed like you need the multiplier so far to like get up into those top points. Not not necessarily true, but it is definitely helping. Next up we've got Shauna! Shauna! Here we go. It reminds uh, me of a shiny. Shiny. Well, you know, keep singing, Ben, because they've got music playing almost constantly. No way! I wonder Maybe if you ever have some... uh, the Moana soundtrack going. Bam, rock is pummeling for Shauna. Joltik. Loudred, Remore, Tatsugiri, the Gorgeist, the Vanillux, the Tulip, the Haunt Edge, and the Zekra. Man, Goodness this, gracious. I feel like the, the momentum has got to be building in this 
uh, box so far. What is the the sense on the Zekrom? Nine cents. Nine cents. Okay, so just go. that's a pretty good last place pull right there. It's not Porygon two Porygon Z good, but the Zekrom that's gonna that'll put you in contention. No it's, doubt. It's it's pretty lousy. It's pretty lousy for sure. Yeah. No, I it feel is. like I feel like whatever the opposite of a god pack is, I feel yeah. like that's what we're currently dealing that's, with. Yeah, but you know what? We're like, gonna hit our stride here. There's going to be something great for E.K. Scow. E.K. Sko. E.K. Sko. Like though. E.K. Sko like though. You, you committed I so can, hard. I did. I was like, <laughs> I've got it! The problem is, I've said it wrong and right so many uh, times, and it says E.K. Sko like though, and I'll look at it, and I'll be like, E.K. E.K. Scow like thou. <laughs> Ethan, the editor, what I want you to do, you don't actually have to, but I feel like it'd be hilarious if we just kept a folder of J and Tempting to say EK Sko. Yeah, what is this? This just uh, like a blooper reel of the EK Sko uh, mispronunciations or correct. Sometimes we'll see how often we get it right. I don't know. Gosh. Okay. So anyway, who's pulling for good old Sko? Sko. Right, you gonna, gonna, I'll, I'll do it. You go ahead. I'll yeah, go I'll ahead. I'll do out. the you owe I owe them. you. All yeah, right. Yeah. Let's get you a good pack here. Sir, all right, throw that back there. Don't need that. Boo. Oh, oh there, there you go. go. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yep, Sko, that's right. Yep. Onyx, Flittle, Nicket, Knackley, Crockler, Tulip, Dondozo, got the Gibble, the Panpour, and the Porygon Z. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's on the multiplier. You would have had the last place well, card. That is what we are looking for. Wow. Gosh, what a truly just invaluable card. I there mean, it is. Like, Porygon Z. Wow. It's mm. just so... Meaningless. It, it is. I mean, it's like it, I'm reading the attack, and I'm like, it seems like that could be like a usable thing, maybe in GLC. There's okay. probably better Porygon Z's actually. Then I don't know. Maybe not. I'm trying to give it some. I'm trying to help, but I, I don't think I am. Some love. Some Next love. up is, and I think I got this one right. Jess. Oh wow! Yeah. Nailed that one. Nailed yeah. That one. A little bit complex, but yeah. I mean, you you got through it in the end. Let's see. There we have another uh, type. Advantage. There no. we go. Just the dark tier drop. The mean fu mean fu mean fu mean fu. Took three tries. We got there eventually. Pharaoh seed. Geibel. Yep. Pan poor. Iron. I, I think I'm starting to like get like a feel for like like it clearly isn't Gibble. You know. No. You know, but like Geibel. Geibel. Right. I think so. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Unless unless I use a terrible example and it's like no Ben, you pronounced it wrong and it's definitely Gibble. Yeah. Uh, gl we'll never know. Uh, gl glass core. Yeah, glass core. Nice. Uh, future booster. Uh, do blade. Steal it, will score, and the Armor Rouge. Rouge. Armor Rouge, but I want to say Armor Rouge is one of our uh, it bulk is, it, EXs. It is, it's mm -hmm. almost, it's right there, 96 cents. So wow. it just rounds up to, yep, so two points on that pack. Throw you a sleeve on it there, that's two points for Jess. Two points for Jess, but it's okay, Jess. But they get a sleeveable Armor Rouge. There you EX go. There. Boom. And better luck next time, for sure. Indeed. All right, next up, we have got Lando Mando. Lando Mando. Who, man, rookie last season and pulled a single point. No, they got two points, never mind. What am I talking about? For 32 cents? I'm not sure why we made note of that. Yeah, I don't know either. It's kind of an unusual one. Either way, Lando Mando. Uh, for second pack ever. Let's see how they do. All right, let's see. Bam, got the eyeball energy, the okay. pump kaboo, the Zubat, the Natu, the Perlorn, the Defiance Vest, the Belooza, Technical Machine Turbo Energize. Iron Bundle does not score, Chantel does not score, and Melodic, or Melodic, or Melodic. whatever it's called. Yep, Just Melodic. a single point, but could be low card. Well, let's take a look, see here. Yeah, number 36 on the set. We've had it before, eight cents. Eight so cents. I think, uh, yeah, probably. Tied for last. At least tying for last for Lando Mando. Lando Mando, they are, they are. Lando. Uh, both, of their, both of their scores now have cents That's denoted a, yeah. on it, so they haven't been a big puller. <laughs> So not, not yet, not yet. But now we got Chrysara. Chrysara, which just sounds like someone with blades for hands. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Why not? Chrysara. Chrysara. All right. I'll make note of that. that. Probably right. has blades for hands. Probably has blades for hands. I like it. Uh, so we got the Rockus Pumping Energy, the Dwebble, the Whimsor, the New Blade, the Surskit. Hey, blades. Hey, Told you. Blades. There you go. Look at that. Look, blades for know. hands. Blades almost, for hands. Almost literally only blades for hands. Oh, just nothing but blades. Or Beetle will score. The Cloth, the Orthworm, the Toad Scroll will My score. Goodness. The Exploud will not score. And the Chan yeah, Pao. Wow. So, so five points. Five off five. There we go again. Very impressive. Or Krasara. And we even busted out the blade hands. So. Even busted it out. Really mm -hmm. just kind of doing everything we needed you to do on that particular pack. Exactly. So we thank you. <laughs> 
I love it when you make up something random and then it works out. I know, it's the best, isn't it? <laughs> All right, next up we have Dalton Green, hated rival of Blue Swede. Blue Swede, well done, well done. Yeah. Got that one right. Got that one right, yeah. probably. And then Ethan will come and be like, it's Blue Suede, man. It's like, I don't know how many like, times I have to tell you. Stop, yeah. It's just like, how many times can I convince Jay it's the other one? <laughs> yeah, right. That's that's the real game. I feel like there's like a meta game happening yeah. inside of the otherwise game. There's the Nimble, the Spinda, the Tink- the Wrong Tink-a-Tink. Wrong tink tink tink. We still haven't pulled the the tink a tink the Sean the Garboder, the Techno Machine Evolution, Pan Sage. Nope, I thought maybe we had a critical hit there. And the Morpeko will score, so just three, three points. points. Man, I swear, we are going to get to the, the like every box of this I've opened has had so many hits. And this, I know, box we, are, we are, yeah, we have a high score slow. of the day, I think, of. of Oh, 20, we had the... We had the 24. We had the 24. Okay. We had the 24. But so, one, mm. one... We're missing out. We're missing out on points. We're right gonna now. get there, y'all. There can be Next no up doubt. Is bug Never let morale dry, uh, dry up. Yeah. It just means that the, the real juicy card is gonna be extra juicy. Extra juicy. It's gonna be dripping. Like, it's kinda like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, sandwich with too much jelly on it. You would call that... Juicy? Yeah, juicy. Juicy. I, 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 nothing, there's no, there's no food juicier than a PBJ. I don't think juice is the right word for that. <laughs> anyway, we got Blitzel, Boon Sweet. Boon? Out? Yep. Boon Sweet. Uh, Simi Sage will yep. score the Norman, Cyclozar, Flittle. Oh, here Blitzel. we go! The Brute Bonnet! Oh! Yes! Oh my gosh, what an awesome looking gosh, card. That is just, that is just gorgeous. I know, that, that is Just is go insane. ahead and drop it right into Artwork, a sleeve, if yep. you will. The low kicks will, of course, uh, score as well. What number is that guy there that for us? That is going to be 207. 207. Oh, so it's, it's above the set number, which is 182. Makes it, That's a last pager for Here sure. Here we go. Yep, number Let's see how the Brute Bonnet is going to do. $5.83. What? And six points. I know. I thought that was six, going to be worth seven, more. Eight, the nine. art alone yeah. makes it worth more. Like that's, well, That is a work of art. I mean, if nothing else, you have an amazingly cool artwork uh, coming to you. Bam how, bug. How many points was that for the for the pack? Nine. Nine points, Nine points for the points pack. On the pack. Amazing. There we go. Well done, M bug. Oh man, do we have a rookie Ben? Oh, a rook? It's Michael Flores. Michael Flores. All right. Known as Mike Flores. I hope you don't mind. There you go, Mike Flores, competing for rookie of the day in the Olive Garden gift card. Oh, we're about to find out how this is gonna go. No, here we go into. Their first pack ever. Can they repeat something as good as the Brute Bonnet? Manpow, the Gibble, the Panpour, Wug Trio, Technical Machine Blindside, Iron Bundle, Remoraid, Natu, and Espathra. So no, pretty bad pull, pretty, honestly. Pretty overall, yeah, just this Let's number. see. So just one point, right? One point, and what is the value on the Espathra? Number 81 on the set. Let's see here. It's going to be 15 cents. 15 cents. Wow. Okay, well, at least you're in contention for last place if you can keep up your one-pointedness and other people cannot. Exactly, exactly. So there's some reason, you know, we, we felt like that was important to the to the spirit of the game, is that the, there needs to be a reason why achieving low scores is just as good as high scores. Yes, yeah. indeed. All right, so uh, next up we have Tina Dodge. Tina Dodge, Let's here we see. go. Can she dodge a one point pack? I don't want to be too bold here, but I do feel like this is like a like a Ben scale hands heavy pack. Oh, uh -oh. It, it feels dense to me for some reason. I'm not sure why. I, okay. I, got, I got nothing. So we'll see if I'm right. We got the eyeball energy. We got the Magby, Mag the Flamigo, the Swablu, the Porygon, the Absol, the Simi Seer, the oh, Crobat. Crobat scores. That's our first one of the day, I yeah. think. Aegis Slash scores. Aegis Slash will score. Oh! Oh, the beach court! Look at that! Yeah, so it's the gold. Bring it back. Yeah, you were yeah, feeling yeah, the gold. You called. You could totally tell. The king draw. There we go. All right, so let's see number two sixty three on the Pretty set. Pretty cool. That's gonna be All last right. page energy. Energy six dollars ninety seven cents. That around seven, seven points. Eight, nine, ten points for Team to Dodge. Indeed, dodged the one point pack. Landed themselves with ten. Only our second. Um, Ten Double points. digit score of the day. I know. Yeah, we gotta we gotta see an uptick in our pulls here, dude. dude we can we can be doing better. For I these love people. the flamigo down here. Just like, hi, <laughs> you look like you're starting. A, it looks like the like the Microsoft paperclip or something. Oh yes, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You look like you want to have a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Do you need any help? <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, All right, man. Beach Core, great card, very usable. And man. it's gold. And it's gold, which is the most important thing. The Golden Beach. All right, next up, we have got uh, Alex with an I. All right, Alex with an I. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. What did Tina Dodge just do? 10 points. 10 points. Oh, gosh. Hang on, I think I may have done a... 
done a mix up real quick. Oh, whoops, because Michael Flores had just one. Just one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Bam, we got the basic uh, there. We got the Dwebble scores, the Wismer, Dublade, Durant, Slitherwing, Ferrothorn, Masquerade will score. The Evolution will not. Oh! Professor Sato's Vitality! There we go. Ooh, nice. Right, we're starting to find the good stuff. Here now. we go. Two. We've hit our stride. We have. Well back done, back to packs. Alex, number 239, that's at $11.83. This is going to round up to 12. So 14 point pack. Okay. <laughs> that is nice. And it feels like it sets you up nice down the season for maybe some big Steve action. Starting with 14, you just want to land yourself at 20 for the Big Steve Award. I know, that's a great, great position to yeah. be in. Lots to, lo we're, we're expecting big things from Alex. From Alex, indeed. All right, next up we have Jazzy J. Truther. Oh, man. One of everyone's favorite players, no doubt. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it's up for debate. Mm -hmm. I think I think that the office remains divided. Well, you know, yeah. Okay, all right, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see how they do. I, I'm pulling for you, so let that be an omen one way or another. All right, let's see here. We got the Fireball, fireball Energy. That'll score the, you know, the Mantike, the Gabite, the Minin, the Toad Scroll, the Explow, the Technical Machine, the Flamigo. Hey, look, waving again. Yeah. Uh, does not score. The Tandem Mouse does not score. Oh, oh, look at the Gold Dango. Oh, I love it. That is pretty awesome. Dude, the Gold, every version of Gold Dango that isn't the base rarity is so cool. I so hope we pulled the black and gold version and get to show you guys what it looks like because it is awesome. The Gold Dango is going to do $11.16 for wow, us. Wow, 12, 13, 14. Wow, back. Back to back 14 packs. Back to back 14. My that goodness. Is so unusual. I love this gold. I feel I feel like we have like literally like we're right in the middle of, of opening today, and I feel like we've hit like a like, yeah, no. Like a like a little stride here for, for points and such. Right? Let's see if it can't carries forward to Mark Mark, the next rookie of the day contender. Let's see, they only need to beat a single point, so not too high a bar for them uh, just yet. I'm not sure how many more rookies we have in today's particular episode, but maybe they can lock it in got here. The, got the metal. Let's go boom sweet. So you're going to already go ahead and get it because that's two points no matter what. The Apom, Technorator, Masquerade, the Semipore will not score, the Gabite will not, and the Goliathopod will be there. Oh, so so three. three points, good enough for the lead on Rookie of the Day. Don't know if you're going to hold it. I know, yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to see if there's any more rookies left. Uh, Coming to battle today, but yeah, three three certainly beats the uh, one the from one. Mike Flores. Right next up, we have Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Robot Wiz. Robot, who I think had a good season last season. They did. They pulled a twenty-seven point card on or pack on a single pack there. So very solid performance. There we go. Let's see. No multiplier, just the water just energy. The Oricorio, the school Toad scores. Yep. Score, the Vanilla Light, the Charcadet, the Roark, the Steeny, mm -hmm. the Simipor, the Dwebble will score. The Galvantula will yeah. not score, and the Steelix will, will. score. So, so four, four off of four. four Four off of four, four is of correct. There All you right. go. Nice. Moving right along there. I love that Steelix art. Next up is Games Bun. Games Bunnington. Games, yeah, Games Bunnington, indeed. Which makes me think of like uh, like cinnamon buns every single time. I'm not really sure why. Just like yes, I feel like I it's managed like to open this pack and pull off the part, like but the, the foil, but the, not the clear. Yeah, the clear is still there. I can see inside the pack. Oh, oh, that's kind of that's kind of cool. It'd be kind of fun if they had like clear boosters at some point in time. <laughs> you just choose your choose your pack right ahead of time there. There you go. All right, the Cerskit will score. Magby, Flamigo, Porygon, Curse Duster, Orbital will score. Cloth will not. Simi Seer will not. <gasps> oh, look at that Cyclozar! Oh, that is sweet! That is very cool. It's like a bunch of little Cyclozars ready up for a road trip there. Super cool. Plus the Latios. Man, I love that artwork. That is so cool. All that right, so that's cool. going to check the... Uh, value on that, number 215. Number 215, let's see, got so many cards in the set. So, oh, man, I'm blown away by that, $2.95. What? Got three, that feels... four, five, six points on the They must pack. have just been killing it with the art this whole, like this whole. Yes, next up we have Joe Cathin. Joe Cathin. English teacher who uses Pokemon cards as prizes for her students. Oh, that's great. That's the best. Like, hey, if you're well behaved, you get a Pokemon card. Yeah, Pokemon card. Yeah, yeah. I gave out Pokemon cards for Halloween. Everybody was super excited. Oh, yes. Got the Dewblade. We got the Mill Tank, the Wimpod, the Plusle, the Slitherwing, the Mela, the Minior, the. Oh, oh Mela, Mela, there we go. Critical we hit. Critical hit on the Mela's. That's amazing. Uh, the Wiglet will not score in the Ting Lu. The Ting Lu. So just, just two points on that pack overall, even with the multiplier. Too bad. Well, you don't see the multiplier. 
multiplier on the trainer cards very often. I know, that feels like an unusual <clears throat> like setup there, but yeah. either which way, enjoy them. I hope your kids do as well. That's like students. our sixth critical hit of the day or something? There's been a few. There's yeah. been a few. We got Enselman up next. Enselman! Let's see, they have been playing this game for a while. Their best season, to, they've had two seasons at 17 points, so sort of middle pack range, often probably a, a big Steve contender. Let's see, whoop, whoop, don't lose that. There's there our type go. advantage, the uh, Dark Energy, Galvantula, Pan Sage will score, Minin, Ancient boo, Booster Energy Capsule, Cyclozar, Porygon, Tink it Tink. Oh, this Those is the right, right one! one. There and we go. the Garnacle. So, so three points. Three out of nowhere there. Right at the end. Finally got the Tinkatink. -tink. I know, we got, we've gotten at least one of each now. That's, that's what we're looking for right there. I feel like they've done this with Tinkatink -tink before, where there's been where there's been like multiples. I wonder if that's like part of Right, the, it must the, be like a popular Pokemon. Right, right. Yeah, like yeah, give people many to collect. All right, next up is Tex. Tex! Here we go. Tex, uh, not, not, hasn't played since the beginning, but has been with us since season four. Okay, okay, what's our best season to date? So best season to date was season five at 19 points. 19 points, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So let's see what we can do here. So we got the Panseer, the Wiglet, the Gligar, the Blip Blip Bug will score. score, the Zibstrika, the Zibstrika, the Luxurious Cape Man. I feel like those two have come like back to back on numerous occasions Yeah, you're right, so like far. they're printed together. Yeah, the Ambipom, the Plusel will not score, the Nicket will not score. Oh, oh the, the Hoopa! Hoopa! That's an interesting one. I haven't seen that one at that all is, yet. That's a new one, number 98 on the set. We'll see what that does for us. See if we can crack crack a point there. Right? Almost hard to make out what the hoop even looks like on there. 88 cents and just a oh, single no. point still. So just a two point pack just there. Two point pack for Tex. Well, but either which way, you still get a sleeveable card, so that's always fun. There you go. Throw He'll that be in the box. Headed oh, in wait, the mail towards you soon. <laughs> Didn't write down your points on the card. We're gonna need that information, aren't we? Bam. All right. Next up, we've got Carly. Wow, Carly had a great season a couple seasons ago at 97 points. Goodness gracious. Man, did Carly win? They had Car an eight times multiplier. I, I, this, I, yeah, this was did. like, I think, our first ever eight times multiplier, and it just like broke our brains. Right, it was like, whoops. We got the Dark Teardrop, we got the Tandem Mouse, the Toad School will score, the Toxel, the Spinda, the Dendozo, the Veluza, the Technical Machine, the Trubbish. The Magby will not score in the Volcanion. So, Volcanion? Yeah, Volcanion. So not quite the uh, eight times multiplier this time around. Not quite. So that's a two point pack. Just overall. a two point pack. All right, next up we have Kelly K. Kelly K. Let's see how we do. Kelly Clarkson, but not like you think. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe exactly like you think. Maybe Kelly it Clarkson's is. just out there like using a C like they, yeah. you know. Like her real her real last name starts with a K. Right. right. That's you know, that's just, the trick. That's the trick. Yeah. Swablu, Panseer, Wiglet. Gligar. Oh, the Crobat. Oh, you're right. Crobat does score. The Rourke, the Steamy will score. The Future Booster Energy Capsule will score. The Surskit will, and the Brute Bonnet. So looks like four points off four cards. Four points off four cards for Kelly there. Well done. Well done. All right, and we're down to I want to say our last three packs of the day. There we go. Here Pass this along is. for. For Kelly, who's uh, up next? <coughs> next up we have uh, Jackinator and Dakinator. Jack and Dak. Here we go. The class, another another classic power couple. <clears throat> All right. Oh, and look at this. There we go. We got, uh -oh. the, we got the multiplier with the nimble oh, right at the top. The looking Ellie good. Kid, the, uh, vanillish. Yep. The Onyx, the Crocolore, the Technical Machine, the Vanillux. Oh, and the Earthen Vessel. The Earthen Vessel. There we go. And like a like a like a shiny one as yeah. well. Yeah. So even... Oh, Ben, it's a critical hit. Oh my gosh, it is a critical hit on it's the nimble. Be a four. Oh, oh, and the Sandy Shocks! Goodness we gracious. Have our first four times multiplier. So much is happening. Oh my gosh, yeah, four times multiplier. So this should be interesting to see how it shakes right. out. So we've got one, one two, two, three, four. four. Okay, plus whatever the Sandy Shocks is. Should have looked that up first. Hang on, number 108. Uh, How exciting, a four times multiplier. Yeah, it's so exciting. Okay, let's see, 108, we were 59 cents. No! <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five times four is 20. 20 wow. points for Way to Jack piece together Jack. 20 points off of your Sandy Shocks there. The nimble multiplier. How Man. about that? I mean, and honestly too, this is, this is, we don't account for like the reverse hollow nature, but I have to imagine that the reverse hollow earthen vessel is, I, yeah. is even just like a little bit more valuable. Yeah. Gotta be, because so. that's like the one you want. There's not like a gold version of it that I'm aware of. Yeah, so. there you go. Very cool. Excellent 20-point pack by Jackinator and Dakinator. How to make things exciting. 
All right, next up is Alicia May, AKA Spider-Man. Of course. Yeah. We all know that Ben, so uh, I don't know if your your daughter Addison watches the show Spidey and his amazing friends. No, not yet. Well, there's a character on there. It's just, it's like, uh, Sp it's, it's, it's Gwen playing okay. her like, uh, Ghost Spider character, okay. but they call her Ghosty on the show, and I've been told by other kids who I say like, oh, Ghost Spider, like, it's Ghosty. And I'm like, okay, okay. We were trick-or-treating over the weekend, or last Tuesday, and I saw this little girl dressed as Ghosty, I thought, and I was like, oh, I love your Ghosty costume, and she, get, she I mean, dead in the eyes, stares at me and goes, I'm Spider Woman. And I was like, oh, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Wow. I was like, I have been corrected. If you, if, you, if you can't just get it right, why, I know. why even try? Sorry about that, little girl. <laughs> In case you're little woman, my oh, bad. Yeah, they're good. Good save, good save. Or throw Absol Simmies here. The Toad School. Oh, look at this. It's two Toad Schools, but not a critical hit because they are different from one another. That's funny. The Iron Jugulus and the Guard Chomp. There we go. Okay, so, so number have... 38. Let's see. Wow. So dollar sixty-seven for the Guard Chomp. So finally, we've gotten an EX that can tip the scales to two yeah, points. So two, three, four, five points there on the pack for Alicia May. Well done, Spider Woman. Yeah, we'll sleep. Yeah, Spider Woman. Spider Woman. We'll sleeve up the Guard Chomp for you. I actually just ordered like um, several of these Garchomp over the weekend because I wanted to make a deck with it. So that'll be in the works here. Here we go. All right, okay. next up. Oh, it's our final uh, oh. rookie of the day contender. What a way to end the episode. So we got Bay Positive. Bay Positive. Oh, this one's me. This one's me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Do it. Do it. Wow, wow. Sorry, wow, I was wow. just trying to write names. There we go. Okay, so Bay Positive, <clears throat> we got this for you. It was going to be like an only okay pack, but now that I'm handling it, Jay, it'll be much better. Don't okay, worry. well, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I didn't want to miss out on opening it, just in case it's something truly awesome. It's fun to be a part of those moments for people. Here we go. <laughs> Electric type energy. Flaco the Flaco Flaco. Yep, there we go. Well done. Uh, the Snow Runt, the Hone Edge. Wow, once again, it's doing it to me. Yeah, the Horsey, the Tinkaton, the Snorlax doll, the Tatsugiri, uh, the Boon Suite, uh, the Ancient a Booster will not score in the Zot 2. Two. So three points for Bay Positive. So we're actually going to have to go check who wins. I know, you're right. The, yes. uh, so we're going to have to examine total rare. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Total rare card value. So On let's check Zatu. number 72. Yeah, pod. 14 cents. 14 cents, meaning that Bay Positive with the Zatu is going to win the Rookie of the Day. Wow. By five cents. That is amazing. Bravo. Well, well, well done. done. Well done to all of our competitors today. No, truly amazing. No, we had a, we had a couple of nice highlights in there. Uh, Jackinator and Dakinator put up 20 points. But no change to the top of the leaderboard. No, yeah, Doe hangs on. Nixie Claw was biting at the heels with 24 points overall. Close. Uh, which will land them in third place. Third place, certainly. yeah. You know, and Big Steve knocked down to fourth, I, no, maybe fifth, I believe. Oh uh, man, is, gonna, is Big Steve gonna float around eighth again for a while? It'll be, so, be so interesting. Funny. It'll yeah. be so interesting. Of course, most, he's already had three packs. That's most true, of these other yeah. people have only had one. one so. So. Lots of fun stuff still left to be had this season. As ever, if you would like to become a patron and have us open a pack for you here in the Box Breaker Show, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash gaming and choosing any of the Box Breakers tier. Yeah, we look forward to having you on the show. It is so much fun. Yeah, link in the description down below. But otherwise, guys, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!